Lopez, and I am doing a series of mini theory lessons. So these theory lessons go along with Daniel McFarland's Piano Supersonics program. You can access those materials online. They're currently available through Amazon. He's a fantastic composer and educator, and we love to support him. We also have a pro membership with him. So if you're a student of ours, you can also connect um, with us to get access to this program via the Supersonics Piano app. Okay, so here we go. We, we are on unit 1.4, and this correlates with the C song in the Level 1 Supersonics book, but you can also just be joining us to learn theory and have some fun. So today we're looking at the notes on the keyboard, and you can see here that we have patterns on the keyboard. We have groups of two here, um, and when we find these patterns in the black keys, we have the twos and then I'll circle in pink the groups of three here. So that's a fun exercise to pause for a minute and look for the groups of twos and threes on your piano at home. So if you can, find them up high on the piano and down low. So you can always pause this video to do some interacting on your own keyboard. Next up, we're going to take a look for the note C. So I'm going to pick purple here. And when we find the group of two, if we slide down to the left, and I'll show you what I mean by left, if we start at the beginning and we go here, this is the note named C. So we're going to find C's in different places on your piano at home. Um, and so you can see that there's another C here. So it's the first white note to the left of the group of two black keys. So pause this, find all the C's on your piano. It's fun to try them quietly, try them forte or loud, um, and you can try them uh, down low on the piano and up high on the piano. So how many C's can you find on your piano? Each piano or keyboard will be um, have a different number of C's um, available to you if it's a not a full-size piano. Um, then next, we're looking at a colored in note with a stem. So that's this one over here. I'm circling it in purple. Um, and it's called a quarter note. Um, here in North America, we usually go by quarter note, but in the UK, it can also be called a crotchet. So in your pieces, it's held for one beat. So a quarter note would just be one. So you can uh, start listening to music around you or clapping them out in your book. And you can also try writing a quarter note of your own. If you're um, not on the virtual program and don't have the book in front of you, it's a fun thing to doodle. So you can just practice writing a note head, a nice little oval, coloring it in and drawing a stem. So have fun with that unit and we'll see you again next